What is going on guys? Jay here from Legacy Vape Company doing another review. This review I am doing the Geyser S. Just got this sent over from Vapex for the purposes of the review. Um, I sent it to me to try out, see if we wanted to stock it as well. So, you know, let me know your opinions on it as well, guys. Um, hopefully it is a good device, but I will show you in the up and close all the ins and outs of it, how to go through the menu, etc. And um, let me know what your thoughts are as well. I'll let you know what my thoughts are at the end. And um, I also have a spare one. They sent me two. So the black one here, I am giving away as well. So you need to like and share the video onto Facebook. And um, I will contact you if you are the winner. So let me take you in the up and close and show you the ins and outs. I'll see you down there. Here we have it guys, the Vape X Geyser. As you can see on the bottom here, it does say you know, 3.2, 1500 mAh, 3D airflow, like everything has 3D airflow, but pretty much this is the packaging that your device is going to come with. Um, not really much to go through on here guys, just the normal stuff, you know, pod, easy refill, so on and so forth. The, uh, yeah. Does have Type C, which is quite nice. I mean, it's faster charging, all that sort of stuff. All the UPCs and all that sort of stuff down there. But let's open her up. And have a bit of a look at what's on the inside. There you go. First thing you're greeted with is your product manual. Just the standard fold out, usual stuff on there. We don't need any of that. You get your mod. Here's your mod. Now I've actually pre-filled this one here. Got my liquid in it. Airflow control and everything is there. We'll go over that in a second. Do get USB-C charging cable, which is quite nice. And then you go, you get your coils and everything. As you can see, I've already stolen one of the coils. You do get your spare coil there. Wattage range is written on the bottom, 35 to 45 watts. Nice. They are both the same coils. There is nothing else left in the box. So let's get that out of the way. And go over the mod. Very simple operation on this one, guys. As you will see, that it is very similar to the Geek Vape sort of stuff. Very similar in style to the the Aegis Boost, but probably a little bit more sleek, a little bit more stylish. The Vape X there looks quite nice. Very simple, very ergonomic fit too for your hand. Yeah, especially thumb fire. Uh, trigger fingers it feels it's a bit too cramped but thumb fire is quite nice you don't end up blocking your airflow which is good um, but the menu is pretty self-explanatory here one two three resets your puff reset it done hold it down one two three four yeah it's it's a pretty Simple device, yeah. Up and down will, I'll fire and down. I'll change your brightness. Leave it at a hundred percent. Hold the fire button back down. Get it back to normal. And you press the up button to get it back to normal. Up and that will go back to that as well. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Once you get it, it'll automatically go to that. It goes up in 0.5 watt increments, which is handy. It goes all the way up to 50 watts. Press it again, we'll round robin to five. This coil is designed for 35, 45 watts, so I've been running about the 45 watt mark. This is your airflow control here. It does spin. So as you can see in there, it is the honeycomb style airflow. We've been running it a little bit closed off, so it's not quite fully open. Just very smooth draw with the honeycomb airflow. Um, as for the pod system, very, very simple to remove. You literally just 
slide it out. So it actually has little runners that you slide on in there and this little thing down here as you can see is sort of a locking mechanism sort of locks in to that there 35 45 watts on the bottom of the coil 0.25 canthal slide straight in that there as you can see has little side cuts to it so make sure you put your coil in that way juice fill is right there really simple to get to that slots in there it is easy to slot in and out but it's not that easy that it um, falls out on you so I found so it's not too bad um, that's your F, yeah, um, juice port there easy to get to unlike some of the others you really really got a finger and get in there but you know for my fat fingers that's really really simple but yeah that is the device guys I'll take you back up on top show how it vapes give you my final thoughts There you have it guys, that is the Vape X uh, Geyser S. They do have the Geyser, which they're going to send me as well, which is quite nice. Um, I haven't had a good look at that one yet, but the Geyser S I've been vaping on all morning. It's been pretty good actually for a small pod device, the pod mod as you call it. Not bad. Now these coils that are in here do also fit the Aegis Boost, so Aegis Boost will then fit this. So you do have a few options for coils, which is quite nice, and it's rather helpful when you're not sure on where to get your coils from. They just Boost ones will fit, but... Let's talk pros and cons. Cons first. Um... Really haven't got a lot to fault with this. I may have preferred the airflow to come in from the sides. Um, again, that's just real nitpicky. That's only because I like the I like the sound of it coming from the sides more than there. Yeah, because I hold it there, I hear it down here, and it just when you're used to the sounds from the sides, it just it's a bit funny. Um, that's real nitpicky. The other thing I would say is I would have preferred the drip tip to be a little well, easier to get off for starters. But there is a lip to it. Get it off. Ah. Alright, that's not coming off anytime soon. I did have it off earlier, but there is a lip to it on there that you obviously you can't see it now, but um there is a lip on there, and I would prefer that you know, we had one that fitted better with the other 510 drip tips I've had. But the one that is in here is actually really, really comfortable to use. Um, so changing it out is not really an issue. Yeah, it's just that sound from coming, like hearing it coming down here. That's the only only real issue I can pick on, and that's super, super nitpicky. Um, Pros, ergonomic uh, for thumb fire. Um, I'm more of a trigger fire kind of guy, so probably not quite as ergonomic for me, and I do have big chunky fat fingers. So again, could be a little nitpicky there, but most people thumb fire, so no one's really gonna have an issue with it. Um, Aegis Boost coils fit, that's a pro which means you know you're going to get reasonable flavor. Geek Vape Ages Boost coils are quite good. These are on par, similar to those. You can't really fault it for that. Um, Style-wise, I think it's definitely an upgrade to the Ages Boost. And the Ages Boost is just that little short and chunky, little short fat thing. And no one likes short fat mods. I mean, some people do, I don't. This is just a bit more slender, a bit more sleek, a bit more stylish. Um, I like it in the red quite a lot. The black does look good too. I haven't opened up the black because this I will be giving away to one of my lucky, lucky viewers. Like and subscribe and share the video and let me know and I will put you on the list. If you have the Aegis Boost already, it's worth the upgrade, I think. Um, it's definitely a nicer feeling device in my hand than the Aegis Boost. I think the flavor is the same. 
Um, I think it's I think it's quite a good setup they've gone with here. Vapex, Vapex are brand new to the market. They've got two devices out right now, the Geyser and the Geyser S. They have sent me the Geyser S. They are sending me the Geyser, so I'll let you know my thoughts on that as well. But yeah, as for pod mods and the way pod mods go, I'm enjoying this. Um, obviously, it's not my style of vaping. We all know my style of vaping is dual battery, rebuildable, high powered. But if I want a discreet little not really discreet when you have it fully open, is it? Jesus. It's quite quite powerful actually for a fully open like that. Would have liked to have seen a mouth-to-lung version come with the coils because you get two of the same coils. Would have liked to have seen the mouth-to-lung. Maybe you get two spare coils and then one in there. A mouth-to-lung is a spare and the same. And you see yeah, another three coils. That would have been nice. Um, but other than that, there is really nothing to complain about. It's quite a decent tasting mod. Um, oh, I don't, I don't, no, so you don't taste the mod. You get good flavor out of the mod. Even when the airflow closed down, you still got quite a decent amount of cloud over it. You can kind of mouth along it. It gets really warm at 45 watts trying to mouth along it. So let's drop it down to the lower wattage, the 35. Yeah, 35 watts. Maybe you guys can probably read that. Yeah, not, not, not bad at the 35 watts trying to close in the airflow off and sort of kind of mouth lung it. You can, you can kind of do it. It's not, it's not too horrible, but. Can't blow a ring anyway. So, there you have it, guys. That is the Geyser S with the pod mod system. They got Geyser S by Vapex. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are on it down in the comments below. And one of my lucky viewers is going to win the second one that I got sent for free. Um, so hit me up, guys, if you want to win. Make sure you do comment. Let me know that you have liked, shared it, subscribed. Go to Legacy Vape Company on Facebook. Like and share our posts on there as well, guys. All support is muchly appreciated. Hope to see you guys again very shortly. Until then, keep it cloudy.